I'm Todd Grisham. Welcome to the one and only Empire Fight Camp. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. The pleasure's always mine, my friend. Time for our tale of the tape. Tyson Fury. He is a whopping 206 centimeters tall with a reach of 216. He'll face off against the man known as Joe Joyce. A massive 80 inch reach, six foot six inches tall. So much hype behind this guy. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat with Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. The juggernaut, Joe Joyce, one of the hardest hitters in the division. Not many fighters hit harder than the juggernaut. I'm so excited for this fight. There is no nonsense here. Looks like we're ready to go here. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Hiding out of the blue corner from London, England, and standing at six feet six inches, here is a British, Commonwealth, international, and European heavyweight champion, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. You've heard of people dancing underneath the moonlight tonight? It's a fight underneath the moonlight, and what a fight it should right. be. You can hear the noise, you can hear the fans. I've been to many, many fights like this, and it's very, very you. Good luck. We're expecting an all-out offensive display. He just misses with that big right hand. Caught him with that power punch. Scores with that right hand. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? something here or the ref might stop it. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He caught him big time! And that's exactly where he doesn't need to be. But somehow weathered the storm! Just misses with that jab. Both men step back. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. That yeah, was super tight. I dread being a judge. Set him up. I think they'll take him out. He's ready to go. He's absolutely shattered. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked?
referee not going to be happy with that illegal move. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You'll find to the counter punching, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punches have watching you, watching your every move. Throws the left, but doesn't score. Changes from both men in this round. And he just missed with that left jab. Good punch. this slugger as you know he's willing to take three to give one that's his game plan and it's worked out pretty well for him so far how you deal with a slugger you've got to use brain over ball ball in the match door pop jab move get them angry this round could go either way 10 seconds to go this fight could not be any closer could it johnny too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? On to the third. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. the hook. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show up. Then bam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. He misses with the left uppercut. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? It's hard, you know that sometimes on a belly the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? A huge opportunity. Can he cash in? A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. The clock is ticking. They got him hurt, but can they finish? Well, that seemed to be like a feel-out round. What do you think, Johnny? I know those rounds. And you know what? We'll get excited. We want it straight away, but these fighters know what plan they've got to work to. Don't get carried away. Back at it in round four. And he misses with that jab. <laughs> he misses with that jab. That left shot lands. He's being smothered here in the clinch and can't get his shots off. And just like that, this fight is...
is over. We were expecting it to go the distance, but he had other ideas. You heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. A knockout victory and one of the biggest surprises of the year. Well, there's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night, night.